Do you believe in karma? Cue the Taylor Swift. I'm just kidding, but I do. And I believe real estate karma is a thing too. I've experienced it firsthand myself, and I think it's an important concept to keep in mind when buying and selling, and honestly, just being a good human in general. So if you wanna have the real estate karma gods smiling upon you, then keep watching. My name is Danielle Powers, and I help people buy and sell real estate right here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. So what exactly is real estate karma? Well, there's a few ways to look at it, really. For example, when we sold our last house, the buyers had requested we leave the mounting bracket for the TV that was in our primary bedroom. We had these French doors that led into the ensuite and above those doors, a TV that fit just perfectly. So we decided to leave the TV, not just the bracket for the new buyers. Needless to say, they were pretty excited about it. At the same time, we had requested the sellers of our next home that we were purchasing leave their TV bracket behind because it was drilled into the tiled surround of the fireplace. I bet you can guess what we found when we did our pre-close walkthrough on the home. You got it. The sellers had left us their TV as well and it was even the same brand as the one we left behind. Instant karma. This hopefully goes without saying, but this doesn't mean leave behind whatever you want. There is a very big difference between inheriting someone's awesome TV and someone's junk. So leaving behind your trash at closing is a surefire way to invite delays, and that's not the kind of karma we want. Real estate karma can also apply in a singular transaction. For instance, if during negotiations you're willing to give a little, chances are you might get a little in return. Another example would be a seller who takes extra care to make sure their house is tidy and presentable before each showing. Chances are they'll get rewarded with better reception from buyers. When you think about it, real estate karma really is just the concept of treating others how you want to be treated and reaping what you sow. So what are some ways to keep karma working in your favor when selling your home? Sellers can put in the work to make sure your house shows its best declutter, take care of necessary repairs, and do a deep clean and more. Be honest, disclose any known issues with the home in your property disclosure statement. Go that extra mile in making sure the house is ready for showings. Make sure beds are made, dishes are cleared and put away, garbage is taken out. Yes, I know it's tiring, but it's so worth it. And the bonus, your house will likely sell faster, which means you don't need to worry about keeping it showing ready for as long. You can also consider items that you're willing to be flexible on. Maybe you can accommodate a buyer's preferred closing date or leaving behind an item that the buyer's requested in their offer. Now, only if you're willing to part with it, of course. Don't give away a family heirloom for the sake of karma because I said so. Also, make sure you adhere to the terms of the agreement. Leave behind the items you're supposed to and take everything else you're not. Also, take care when moving out that you don't damage the walls and leave the place tidy. Okay, now you know some things you can do to not only help you get top dollar in the sale of your home, but you'll rack up some karma points too. Have you experienced real estate karma? I'd love to hear about it, so comment below. If you're thinking about selling and you have pets and or kids, you're gonna wanna watch my next video where I share some tips on how to do so without losing your mind entirely. It's gonna happen a little. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you find the information I share helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And if you'd like to chat about your specific situation, you can book an appointment with me directly using the link in the description below. And if you have a topic you'd like me to cover, leave a comment or send me a message. And as always, reach out if you have any questions.